So this this is all I was supposed to. <laughs> Whew, whoa, this is a little weird. I don't. What we you fell, do? I fell off that chandelier and fell down, and now it's. Where, where are we, Amerith? What is this? I think we're in a better game. Are we? Are we in a better game now? <laughs> did we? Uh, do we? Do we fall down and wake up somewhere better? I think we did. So it seems like it. All right. Welcome back to On the Branch. I hope you don't have epilepsy. Also, whew, that was a weird trip, wasn't it? Hey, yeah. we're we're booting into uh, we're we 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 left Eco and now we're into Shadow of the Colossus. How I know that was that? a weird thing, right? Yeah, it's a little strange. So uh, we're playing the PS3 version because that's what we own. We could have borrowed the PS4 version from one of our because 10 we friends. found out that there was a PS4 version. Oh, I would have known the PS4 versions existed because it came out four or five years ago, Did and I, I just this? remember. Yeah, let's watch it. Okay, let's go. Let's watch the intro. We're gonna watch this little eagle and and all the majesticness. Oh well, I see they left the sides on. You see yeah, those black sidebars. those black sidebars? I think those might be in the entire game. I, I I booted this up a little bit because you know PlayStation Three. Let's let's talk about some problems with playing the PlayStation Three in the year 2020. First off, every time you boot it up, roll a six sided dice, and if you get a one or two, you do not get to play your PlayStation Three for two hours. Either the the database on the hard drive is corrupted and it needs to rebuild itself. Or it needs to download an update that for some reason, even if you have gigabit ethernet, downloads at, you know, kilobits a second. Or something is always it can't wrong. Handle it. It's too fast. Something is always wrong with your PS3. Even when we booted it up just now, I said, wow, that is loud. Is anything wrong with it? And no, that's just how loud PlayStation 3s are. They're just louder than your PC for no reason. They're just louder than anything yeah. for no now, reason. Now, that's an OG PS3 because my slim PS3 is temperamental, correct, on game capture? I think it's temperamental on game capture. Um, it's also a pain on like, but it's quieter on col on colored discs and stuff like that. No, no, no. That's PlayStation Twos. That's PlayStation Two slims and that threes. Are reading. Oh, are PlayStation Three yes. slims also worse at reading weird discs? Um, also, PlayStation Threes are not backwards compatible. Yes, except for the very first generation ones where they had the PlayStation Two hardware in them. Which I got the second generation. Yeah, and then I have the Slim, so at least it's not the worst of both worlds like what you have here. But mm -hmm. hey, we're playing Shadow of the Colossus. It's a beautiful game. Keep in mind, the only thing they did on this was smooth the textures. I don't think they upped the polygon count at all. I think they just said, oh yeah, we can afford to anti-alias this now. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the same poly count as the PlayStation 2. They did a really good job with what very limited. They took, I wouldn't say the weakest uh, PS3 era system. We call it the PS3 era. It's it's still, or sorry, PS2 era uh, system. It's not the Dreamcast week, but it's weaker than the GameCube or the Xbox. And it's one of the most beautiful games of the generation. They did a phenomenal job. Did a heck of a job. Yeah. Well, well it's also like when in the life cycle of that those systems did that, did the game come out? Like... A, a really early Dreamcast game is going to look vastly different from a really late PS2 game. Yeah, that's fair. This was at the very tail end of the PlayStation. In fact, it, this game released a year before the PlayStation 3. I think they should have delayed it and just released this, and it would have looked a little blocky. But it would have shown off the PS3 better than or the, done like a, the like a Twilight Princess thing where they did both. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, they could have done that and just delayed it a year and just said, "Hey, this is also a launch game." It doesn't even have to be a packing game, although this would have been a great packing game for any system. Yeah, that this looks so much better than it did. I haven't actually played the PS3 version before, or the PS4 version, obviously. And I've played this game yeah. a little bit. Like One thing I, I did notice coming in and making sure it would work, though, because that's what you have to do with PlayStation 3 games. If you want to record them on a Let's Play, you got to walk into or the recording room play them. an hour or two before you start recording and, and just get into the game and make sure it works. Is make all sure the menu game thing. All the menus are stretched wide because when they remade it for the PS3, they just took all the menus and stretched them out to 16 by 9 like the original PlayStation 2 did. So you see how the, the text looks a little wonky there? You go into options, see how everything feels a little stretched or yeah. flattened? Yeah. Uh, look at all these options because they gave you a lot that are really nice uh, to have. What is full pixel I mode? do not know. I think that means it turns off the smoothing. 
Oh, oh. It makes, we want full pixel mode. It then. makes it take it makes it take up the whole screen. So yes, we want that. Yeah, well, I think what the difference is, it's not really rendering at 1080p, so it's stretching out a render eh, to 1080p. Whatever. Uh, hit up the flaggy thing, so that way I know to base <laughs> off of that. Oh, okay. To, oh, to base it off of the, the wider. screen size. Otherwise, yeah. it's screw it up and it's going to look weird for half like. But the look episode. at look at all your camera and like aiming inversions. You can aim every. You can change horizontal and vertical aim um, for both the camera and the in-game, the actual controls. And they will feel wrong, and you will want to switch one of those as soon as you get in the game. Anyway, yeah, yeah let's like, 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 we'll, we'll see how this goes first, and then I'll change it, So I don't know what normal is. Five minutes in, we're to the opening cutscene of Shadow Yay. of the Colossus, Amareth. Sounds like a regular old kind of game. Sounds like how we do the, the on the branch. Hey, we're on a horse. We're some dude walking along a bridge. Does that bridge look familiar? Roomba. Does that castle look familiar? Roomba. <laughs> but but this but happened, it's not as crummy. This happened before America. This, this is the before. This time. is the prequel game. This is before Roomba. This is all the interesting stuff this that is what happened all they before had, that game we abandoned. This, this is when all they had were were hand vacuums and, <laughs> and sharks. Shut, shut. <laughs> There were no Roombas and electric Is, intelligence. Wait, what do we have? Do we have a shark? We we have a Roomba. No, no, no. Upstairs. What's our What's our one for carpet? Because a uh, Roomba would just die on carpet with our cats. Uh, Roomba. I think it's Shark Brand. I, shark I brand. don't. Are they paying us? I, I don't. That's a good point. Yeah, they're they're whatever brand decides to pay us. We have some vacuum that. If had you want to pay reviews. us, we will own your brand. Yeah. Dyson, get on it. <laughs> Maybe I'd, I'd love to have one of you. Maybe <laughs> you're like five hundred dollars for a vacuum that like sort of sucks, but doesn't suck. If you get what, if you get what I'm saying. Our, our big Roomba thing we need to do is just get a second one for upstairs and clean up upstairs so it doesn't knock everything over. Our Roomba is scary. Here, let me recreate what I saw because I didn't actually ever take this picture. Well, I, mean, we, we've... I should have taken this picture. I told you and Jamie about this, and and I'll just stage restage it because one day I, the Roomba just bumps into things. Right? It's it, a lot of it's. That's how it are does. Just physical. It's just a touch sensor. So if something's precarious, it'll knock it over, which has happened a lot. Like when so, it put itself in the idiot corner. And when it, yeah, it'll drop itself in a corner. It'll get itself locked inside a picture frame that is n not finished. And that's, so that's it just was, knocked it down on top of itself. That's what I was talking about. It put itself in the idiot but corner. But the ultimate here, and, and here's where you actually drop the picture. You should ignore yeah. that first flag I clicked. Yeah. Is, uh... It decided to arm itself. You thought a room with a knife was scary. No, I just woke up and it was like this in the middle of the room. Just that sword, sword was against a wall. It somehow knocked the sword over, dragged it over, and sat on top of the sword and said, come at me. And we woke up hours later to a notice. Hey, the Roomba has stopped moving for some reason. It's stuck. You should go check on it. And I go downstairs. Well, because also, like, an important point to note is we don't run the room during the day when we're when we're active. Or... No, it's noisy. So we do it at night when we're asleep. Yeah, not just that. We don't want it bumping into us. It's easy at the end of the night to say, okay, make sure the floor is clear for the Roomba. We're running it three nights a week. Our floor downstairs is now The clean. cats are upstairs usually at night, so... Yeah. yeah, they'll get less anxious about the thing running around. Although it seems like they know when it's going to come up. They, they have an idea. They know it's beep, and they know it's going to start moving, and they have an idea. Okay, if I don't want to deal with this, I can move. That first day when Dana freaking jumped yeah. over it, though. Now, now they'll be... They'll be, yeah. They'll hang out in the room next. Oh, this is all important stuff, right? Like, we... We rode on a horse. We is came. that Roomba? Uh, that is... I don't that's think Roomba. that's... It could be, actually. I think it's I don't Roomba. Know. We didn't play enough through Eco for me to know. I think that is Roomba. <laughs> this expression is not good on the PlayStation 3, unfortunately. But I mean, it's worse on a PS2, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that, with, it's that with more jaggies. Oh. This is an important place. I guess. I'm trying to remember what the whole point of this game was. Like, I don't understand it. Uh, do you want the synopsis, even though we're going to get it as we play? No. Uh, too bad. Uh, girlfriend is dying of an unknown disease that put her in a coma. Uh, we heard that there's some special place where you can get it healed. You just got to come here. And, well, we're going to get, we're going to get contacted by a guy here in a minute. I don't remember this in the original game. This might have been added in. I don't know. Yeah. Because I only played this game for, like, maybe an hour, and then that was it. Did it have this much intro? I don't know. We're <laughs> 10 minutes in and you haven't actually gotten to start playing. I mean, it feels like I'm playing a Hideo Kojima game, but... <laughs> <laughs> 
That's how games were in the PS2 era, though, right? You got about five or ten or fifteen minutes of well, intro. They, they gotta they gotta build up the story. E- and... Yeah, even Wind Waker and Twilight Princess did this. Heck, Twilight Princess, you don't get to really play the game for over an hour. It's redonkulous. But yeah, cute girl love interest. Uh, we're gonna resurrect her by slaying some some giants. No, we're we're gonna we're gonna play through. We're gonna yeah, I know. We at least get to some doing game. Something. We might not fight our first colossus on the first episode, but we're gonna get somewhere. We're Uh-oh. gonna do some things. We're gonna. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is creepy. Is this the shadow part of the colossus? <laughs> yes. Hey, guys, we found it. We found the shadow of the we colossus. We found the thing. We won. We beat the game. Woo! Way better than Eco, right, Amareth? Yeah. Ten out of ten. Roomba. Okay, no, this does look really good. Even for a P- it's low poly, but for a PS3 game, they put a lot of polish into it. Huh. Anyway, so how's your life going, Amareth? We're having very different experiences right now. Yeah, I know. You haven't left the house in like four weeks, and like <laughs> I leave the house like every two or three days. Jamie will drag me some awful, horrible place I shouldn't be, like, like Walmart. Walmart, because she forgot her phone and left me in the car while she went shopping, and I. Uh, I said, oh, uh, I haven't seen her for an hour. I better go into the store and check on her and, and you know, contract COVID-19. And see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went in, and she just decided to do a full grocery shop. Oh, hey, someone's talking to us. This guy seems trustworthy. He's talking from a beam of light. We should do what he says. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he must be good, because it's light. Yeah. That's, no, no beam of light has ever tricked us into working against our own best interests before. Right. So yeah, you said I. Oh, Dormin. See, it's it's Nimrod backwards, who is the name of some <laughs> Greek god. No, no, Nimrod is an actual god. It's just we use it as an insult for some reason. We can look that up. Maybe that'll be the John yeah. explains at the end of this series. Yeah, let's, let's do or that. Or in the middle of this series. <sighs> Meanwhile, that cloak is just fucking. Yeah, that I did not notice that when I played it on the PS2. But again, the PS2 looks not. Or that may have not even been there. That's a good point. I, yeah, my understanding is they had to completely recode the oh, game. Oh no, she's just, she's dead, dead. Yeah. Oh, she's dead, dead. Okay. Yeah, they said that she, they sacrificed her. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember this much. I think they did actually remake the game. They just had art assets and had to completely recode it. I might be thinking of the PS4 version, or I might be thinking of both versions. I think this was one of those games that they lost a lot of the base code and had to start from scratch when they did a remaster. Mm. <sighs> I'm, I'm trying to, like, absorb, like, what is going on here. Oh, um... He's basically saying you gotta make a deal with me and I'll, I'll resurrect your girl. So, like, hey, dude, you look like you're a capable, strapping young man. You got a neat sword. You got ambition. You've got motivation. You sound Japanese. <laughs> Do you sound like a Japanese anime pro tag? Ooh, asketh. That's how you know he's old timey. I'll bet. Do you ever think about the fact that when you see gods and in shows like or in, in media like this and they talk like that, it's not them trying to be profound or or deep or sound ancient. It's just how they used to talk and they haven't gotten with the times. It's just an old people accent. It's boomer speak. <laughs> it's just boomer speak. <laughs> Shadow of the boomer. <laughs> well, I said we were going to do something on this episode of Aerith. But, uh, yeah, you, you got to break the statues. You got to break every single one. Yeah, at least this is more exciting than the first 15 minutes of Eco. Yeah. Like, at least we got story. In the first 15 minutes of Eco, we got Roomba. <laughs> We got, I hope you looked at the controls, because otherwise you're not going to know you can grab her by the hand. Uh, I, I feel bad now, because I told Jason from MegaBearsFan.net that uh, when, I pl- when I went to play it, I couldn't get into it, we couldn't stand it, Emerith was falling asleep instantly, and not because it was late, just because it was boring. And he was really upset. He said, that game is a classic. And I said, well, it's a classic that doesn't hold up. And if you played it for the first time today, you wouldn't be able to stand it. And he said, well, it didn't hold your hand like other games where you know, you don't need a, the game to tell you what to press. Well, you do the first time. If it doesn't tell you the first time and it's not obvious. It doesn't say this, this is, is the attack This button. isn't Mega Man X where you only have six buttons 
and you can press them all, and it's pretty quick to figure out what they do, because they all do something immediately. You get dropped into a thing, and if you don't hit the button within five seconds, you already lost. Well, it wasn't that. It was the fact that you had to know that that button was con was a context-important button. Yeah. So the first time I hit it, it did nothing because the context wasn't there yet, so I just didn't know the button did anything. Oh, yeah, that's an important thing to know. Uh, I think that's the circle button normally. The yeah. That... It'll give you a light beam that lets you hone in on the next Colossus The Roomba to kill. button? Yeah. Yeah, he's... I, I think it would have been way funnier that. is if he said, Oh, wow, that popped oh, up. Oh, God, you see that? yeah. <laughs> that, that was kind of I, bad. I th thought it would have been a way better story-wise if he just said, Oh, there's a Colossus out here. Go kill it. And then you did that, and that was your intro stage. And then he said... Oh, by the way, we've got, like, 11 more. I forget if there's 12 or 16. I think it's 13. I. It's 12 or 16. Uh, it's, it's an even number. It's 12, because they were originally planned to be 16. 16, that's what I, I thought, yeah. Oh, okay, I have control. Yeah, yeah, you got control. Okay. I, I thought we were, like, waiting for the cutscene to end, nope. and, like... Nope, so, let's see. One weird thing, it's, like, uh, Breath button. of the Wild triangles your jump. And it is a, and it is a you can do a light jump to a heavy jump based off of how long you hold it for, I think. I think it's a how long you hold it for. I don't think it's a how hard you press. So if you hold it, is that yeah. holding it? Okay. Uh, circle? Yeah. Oh, see, look, it's telling you what to do. So when Jason defends Eco and says, well, games back then didn't have tutorial information. They didn't hold your hand. This game literally tells you how to play it right at the beginning and just drip feeds it to you, too. Hey, John. Yeah? Argo, yeah. It's not It's not Roomba anymore. It's Argo. Agro. Uh, it's uh, yeah, yeah whatever it's like, it's like the aggro crag it's, it's aggro it's the uh, oh yeah yeah uh horse controls come from this game the the term horse controls comes from this game aggro is very hard to get moving at first and then as you get used to him he gets easier and easier to move that's not ugh. that's oh. not the game being programmed to make it easier that's just you getting used to it which is a pretty cool mechanic other than it's unwieldy at first but you got lots of time to figure it out so you see how the, the beam focuses and narrows? Yeah. So it wants you to go in that direction. But you should go over to that tree where there's probably some fruit to give us some life up. Uh, hold because on. why should we go... What, 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 whoa, 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 okay. Which? Okay, now turn around 180 degrees. Uh, camera or person? Uh, okay, go yeah, go the way you're going and okay. then turn slightly left. And you see that tree out in the distance on, on the center of the screen now? Yeah. That is going to have some power up we can go get. Yeah. We, we can go get some you tree mean, noms. You mean we can... We can get some, some stuff. Yeah, we can go get some tree noms and get some more life. And you're going to you're gonna get some practice on that. Uh, well, next time on the branch. Uh, we're not going to fight a Colossus this episode because it's already long. So see you guys tomorrow. Hey, Stop. get off your horse. I think it's the triangle button. There we go. Or maybe it's the jump button. It was, it was the jump button, which is All also right. the triangle button. All right. Well, next time on the French, we'll find some fruit. Next and make time our, on the French? On the, oh, sorry. Next time on the French, we'll find some fruit and make our life meter a little bit longer.